you kind of evaluate the starting defense this season, uh, what are some main points of improvement uh, you're, you're emphasizing for them through three games? Oh, man, a lot of stuff. You know, gap integrity, uh, leveraging the ball from the outside in, uh, <clears throat> you know, eyes on our work, uh, formation recognition, you know, uh, tackling. I mean, that's been kind of the biggest things. And then, you know, we've got we've to continue to work and again, I know we've had you know a lot of a lot of opportunity to play some subs, but just our red zone, um, you know, just trying to improve uh, red zone wise and uh, not not losing our mind when we get in that area. You mentioned uh, yesterday that West Coast has been able to practice. Is that continued, and you feel better about him playing this week than maybe some of the other guys who you're labeling day to day? Yeah, absolutely. What information have you guys gotten uh, weather-wise for Saturday, if anything? And do you think that'll change anything uh, with preparation, or has that changed anything for you so far this week? Uh, I hadn't changed anything other, other than we had to come inside today. Uh, we started outside, but had to come in. And um, I mean, you know, I mean, we have a lot of contingency plans. I mean, it's, it, we anticipate it being clear and a nice, a nice game day. But um, you know, but we, those are the type of things our operations people really. Spend a lot of time on what you know. What ifs? What if we lose power? What if you know uh, our hotel loses power? Uh, you know, cooking food. I mean, there's a lot of things that you that you have to really plan for in a situation like that. It may not happen that way, but we got to have a plan uh, just in case. So um, you know, Mike Dooley does an amazing job in making sure that that um, you know, no matter what happens, we'll we'll be ready to roll. Yeah, but this is Larry uh, with Khalil. How do you think he's done so far uh, this season? I guess he's you know moved around, safety, nickel, and all that. It's good. I mean, you know, he's done well. I mean, you had he's only had really one full game, uh, and then he's had a couple halves of, of play. So he's he's done well. Hey, Dabo, this is Grayson. Just wanted to get your assessment of Kate Denhoff's performance in the starting role on Saturdays talking to him yesterday about the journey that it took for him to get there. Just what was it like to see him out there in that starting role? And what has that work been like for him to get to that point? Yeah, he's just, you know, the epitome of, you know, what our program's all about. You know, guys committed to the program. Uh, you know, got, you know, some guys come in just like Cade, who's got some, some development to do. You know, for him, he had a lot of physical development to do. He's always been a smart kid, really high motor, uh, but just really physically and fundamentally and technically as a DN just needed to, you know, put his head down and go to work. And, and he's gotten better and better every year. Now he's a red shirt junior. And um, yeah, uh, I think that was his first start the other night, but he's, I'm proud of him. I mean, he's a, he's a very steady player. He's a great leader. Um, he's just, he's just really dependable. You know, you know, he's going to, you know, he's going to do his job, you know, very, in, in a very consistent way. So uh, that's what we need from him. Hey, Dabo, this is uh, Darian Carter with the Greenville News. Um, I'm just curious about your assessment for uh, Christopher Vizina over these past two games, uh, getting reps in in the second half over the past two games. It's been really, you know, great. You know, he needs that uh, because, you know, that's what I – in fact, I was talking to him about today. I mean, every day at practice, that's his game reps. And, um, you know, that that's how he has to approach it every single day. Uh, you know, and again, hopefully we can just kind of keep developing him along. You know, he's got a chance to be a really good player. And uh, every rep is just, you know, we had a great two-minute drill today. He did some really good stuff in that. So I'm just really proud of him, you know, because he didn't get a lot of reps last year, but he continued to stay engaged and work. And now he's just, you know, uh, just getting gaining more and more confidence uh, every practice, every opportunity that he gets to play. and. And he's doing a good job of when he's not playing, you know, really being engaged and, and making sure he's getting the mental reps. Uh, but and he's a big, strong kid. He can make all the throws. Uh, he just needs experience. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's progressing. So it's been really good to be able to have an opportunity to play him um, in a couple games already, two out of three games. That's, that's been awesome. Hey, Devo, it's Will. Just curious something. Um, a preparation standpoint, you play a team like Stanford you've never seen before. Is there anything different in how you guys approach this and, and, and you know, being that's a team you've never seen? No. I mean, 
I mean, a lot of times you play, uh, you know, teams every year. They might have the same logo, but they're a different team. You know, there's a lot of new people year in and year out. Uh, it's no different. I mean, you 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 got to plan a preparation regardless of who you play or where you play or when you play, and you know you 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 have to have a great routine. Um, and at the end of the day, it's just football. I mean, it's blocking, tackling, throwing, catching. You know, uh, making the right adjustments and uh, you know defensively understanding situations and formations and what comes off of it and offensively being able to communicate and ID and. Uh, you know, it's not any different just because you're playing somebody you haven't played. Um, you just have to <clears throat> do your job and execute and, and know your plan and the details of the plan. Yeah, but given that Olsen, Pat Henry was, I guess, more of a receiver type in high school, what, what do you think has gone into him being, I, I guess, appreciating blocking and being enthusiastic about being a well-rounded tight end this early? Standing on the sideline. I mean, it's that simple. You know, you want to play, you got to block. I mean, you can't just be a wide out at tight end. So that's there's no greater motivator than the sideline. Um, and you know, K. Rich has done an awesome job putting his room together. And you know, we knew he'd have to develop a little bit. But I mean, he's put the work in. He wants to play. He's super talented. But you, you know, you can't just be a receiver. You know, he, he's got to. You got to play in the box. You got to. You got to. Do all the dirty work too. That's part of. That's a very tough position to play, and uh, he's a tough kid. He's really bought into it. He's blocking well. I mean, you know. But I guess the biggest thing that went has gone into is, like I said, he's just you know standing on the sideline. Uh, so you, you want to play, you got to earn it, and you got to get better. Anybody else, for coach? Yeah, yeah, Debo, has Stanford, have they brought more pressure on defense the last couple of games compared to their opener against TCU? I mean, they're about, you know, they're probably 25, 30% pressure. They're not a big pressure team. You know, I think it's more, um, you know, where they brought, they brought some pressure against Syracuse, but there was a lot of red zone and plus territory um, in that game. And that's kind of, that's kind of been their deal at this point is, uh, when you get in a certain area of the of the field, they they'll they'll get after you. Uh, but you know who knows? We'll see. Uh, but to this point, they have not been a. I mean, they're about 25, 30 percent. Um, but they may get in our game and be 60 percent. So you got to be able to uh, adjust to whatever whatever they do.